let's do normal. Try it out. Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight desperate. makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death? Pending. Oh my goodness, oh my damn, oh my goodness, they're going ham. Dead. Oh, yeah. oh. Since the apple was plucked from Six the sacred street? tree, mm -hmm. mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. Woo -woo. What's up, Carter? What's going on, bro? Yeah, I actually uh, got this game uh, a couple days ago from our buddy V. He got a, he got it for free on Humble Bundle, but he already had the game, so he gave me the code for it. So I went ahead and purchased or went ahead and installed it. And, uh, decided, hey, might as well stream it, you know. Let's go my camera just a little bit over. Just a bit. There we go. How's everything going in going on there in Canada today? Did you get your French fries and gravy? Oh man, this dude's on some drugs. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, this is kind of sensitive there. Let's go, come on, you can do it. Follow. Follow the red stuff. Ah, okay. What is that stuff called again? Like French fries and gravy, isn't it like poutine or something like that? You all call it? I'm not 100% sure. Thirsty. So thirsty. Uh oh. Okay, so we're gonna gank this chick. I can't even see her face. Okay. Poutine? Okay, gotcha. She obviously knows who I am. I knew it. I knew you were alive. Everything will be fine again. Uh oh. Uh oh. You hear the heartbeat. Oh, oh, you better. Fight it, don't fight it, woman. Yeah, you're reborn again. Yeah. Uh oh. My sweet brother. Oh, there's your sister. What have you done? Mary! Oh no. You just bit no. your sister, bro. Mary! That's the cradle of incest. You, got, you gotta stop that. You can't do that stuff. It's illegal. Hold on. Please, hold on. Oh, God. Oh, no. Carter knows all about that. I'm just kidding. Mary. Just kidding, Carter. 
Yeah, I was actually gonna stream this yesterday, but uh, I went and took a nap no. before uh, the operation. So. Uh. Uh. I'm not streaming it. And then I also plan on playing uh, uh, Witcher 3, uh, mainly because I bought the game like when it first came out, and I only played like 20 minutes of it and never played it again. Um, and then on Tuesday, I plan on playing the new game Mortal Shell. It, uh, it releases on Epic Game Launcher. I've already bought it. Um, it's kind of like a Dark Souls-y type S game. When I say that, I mean like, you know, between your character, combat style, and all that. It's very reminiscent of Dark Souls. The load no! screens, everything like that. Please, a moment. Let me explain. Ah! Oh, run. Oh. Run. They're shooting you. Ah! Ah! Run. These patrols are after me. No, no, don't they shoot. They got machine guns. This is a nightmare. I need to get out of here. I mean, they wouldn't have machine guns at this time. Like, this is. I don't know. This is like. This can't be before World War One, or this is like in the 1800s. They shouldn't have like fully really automatic weapons. No, no please stop. stop. I mean, you no harm. Yeah, I guess we're supposed to go this way. Oh, they got trucks! I don't know if I'm supposed to go down here. I don't know where to go. I'm just kind of running around. Oh, Mary. Graphics are What have I done? What's all this about? Oh. Oh, oh no, I'm stuck. Wait, where, where do I go? Oh. I got... Now, oh, I can okay. defend myself. Oh, got a machete. No, don't kill me. Who are you? Stay back! Sorry, oh, we but got you let me know so every time. Oh, whoa, whoa, I didn't even push a button on that one. So, so there's a stamina bar. Okay. Yeah, Victorian. Okay. I didn't know. I thought this was like in the 1800s. Stupid beast! Sorry. What was it push? Oh, it was push space bar to dodge, but it uses up stamina. What's up, Saber? Are you just taking a break from work right now, or...? Open it! This one in No! Infirmary. Please! Stop! Oh. Who are you? Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, I don't like the lock-on. What do you want? Anything else in here? This dude actually kind of moves fast. Sensitivity is pretty high on the mouse. You know, I thought you said you had to work today. Last night you were like, oh, I gotta work on Sunday. 11 hours shit. Ah! You just came. Uh oh, shit. I mean you no harm. I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please, listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast. Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! Oh, no. What in God's sake? I'll do the rest of the job. Oh, we're in the sun. Just, just leave me. Uh, 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 it's like early morning too, so like we gotta hurry up and hide somewhere, I guess. The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. Oh, I didn't see that aggravated damage thing that came up. Oh, I need to find somewhere to hide. What the fuck was this room? Let me go! No, can you go through there? Okay. No, you're not gonna use that crossbow? Yeah, crossbow on me? I need to find shelter! Oh, there's an icon. Okay. F button. Is anybody there? I don't know if you guys have been watching the news, but apparently they said that uh, Dr. Pepper is having a so shortage. The place seems abandoned. But uh, luckily I live, you know, I an hour and 20 minutes, here. or about an hour south of the Waco, the Dr. Pepper plant, so I don't foresee me ever running out of Dr. Pepper. Ever. Fire in the sun. Leeches do not fear the sun or fire. And 
They do not burst into flames or ashes when they are caught under rays of daylight. But it hurts them good, real good. I have personally chained a, oh, wow, personally chained a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun rises. Its skin's blackened in a few minutes as if it was burning from the inside. Its eyes and flesh melted, and I saw its unholy bones move and squeal as the beast tried to escape all day long. In the end, only a desiccated, yeah, I'm guessing I'm saying that right, desiccated corpse remained, uh, which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared behind the horizon. Cut its head off. Oof. Cut its, uh, cut its head off to finally destroy it. And when I tried the same test with fire, the, the bloody leech never came back from the ashes. Uh, fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. Uh, to burn the beast is the best way to kill it for good. Okay. Oh, that's weakness. Is okay. Whoa. Apparently there's a lot of things here. And these are the owners of the house I just came into. Brother. Red door means say sorry, I didn't see. What it. have you done? <laughs> yeah, my roommates were going out Mary. and asked if I was driving. I said, sure, the fuckers left. Mary. I realized they were asking if I was driving my Man. Mary. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. Sorry. <laughs> It's like, hey, man, you, Whoever um, did this to us. Yeah, you driving? I will. I, I would have taken it as like, yeah, I'll drive you guys. Yeah, we can hop in my car. But obviously, these guys, uh, oh. They, they kind of screwed you over. Oh, my God. Carter, we found your mom. Don't worry. All right. She's dead right now. Okay, she, she no coming back to life. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Carter. Dressed up fancy. Just kidding, man. Let's run through his pockets. Painting the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. To the <laughs> He's got no more responsibilities. <laughs> What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve. So apparently he has the ability to see events from objects. To see recent events from objects. So apparently the gold watch was his and the two guys stole it and this old lady got it and died. I guess. Okay. I had a little chair, excuse me. Burped. Oh, there's a dead guy here. Oh, he has a gun. He shot himself. There's a syringe. lost we need to leave and now no. there's time i can save him that's the enemy coming the orders are to evacuate the hospital hmm. he's a doctor done he'll live and now what we fight killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing oh wow he's a weird doctor man No, it never got easy. Uh -oh. Getting a lot of weird vibes off this doctor, man. Like, he's a death doctor. <laughs> Bloody dire. Okay, 15th of October, bad sleep. Becky coughed all night, and the fever made her delirious. I heard a loud noise in the morning. It's a big machine. It's a big, oh yeah, it's a big machine some men brought by the banks to the dig a big hole in the ground uh, it was some sort of mechanical shovel uh, maybe I could go there and ask for some work that can use medicine 16th of October I talked to the men with the mechanical shovel they told me they are digging mass graves all around London wow 
So I'm guessing there's like some ec- epidemic or something like that going on. Ha! <laughs> kind of like what's happening right now. Uh, safety measures apparently. Is there a new epidemic? Is it the flu coming back? They had no work for me. Becky slept a little last night. Boundaries being closed. There are no more jobs nearby. 19th. Went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. It took me the whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made a soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few short inches, and some sleeping pills on the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I could go to the Pembroke Hospital tomorrow. But it's so far, and I fear leaving my wife for so long. 19th of October, Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She's so fragile now, it makes me cry. She says she hears voices outside at night. She says she wants to eat meat. Where can I find meat? Tomorrow I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. 21st, and then with the mission premise, stop digging the mass grave. I heard shouts last night as they were attacked. Now there are only a few boats throwing bodies day and night. But Jesus, man, there's a shitload of people dying. Becky attacked me. She jumped me on me from the stairs and tried to bite me. I had to smack her, <laughs> but she smacked me back. <laughs> I went upstairs and locked myself in the bedroom. Now I can hear her crying and mumbling downstairs. I retrieved the gun I hid in the ceiling since the war to protect the house. Now I'm ready to use it to protect myself from my own wife. Damn, he survived for quite a few days. Uh, I could not sleep at all. Becky spent the whole night scratching at the door, asking for my help, begging me to let her in, but I was too afraid to open it. I'm just waiting for her to die now. <laughs> 24th, I was so hungry I tried to go downstairs this morning. Becky was sitting in the armchair by the chimney. She was panting like a dog, looking at me without moving, just following me around the room with her eyes. I pointed the gun at her, her sore, sore face. No, she did not react. No more noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you. Oh no, it's such a tragic story. That sucks, man. Is there no way to, like, walk? Okay, tab. Like, the movement on this guy is, like, so fucking quick. there? Are you referring to me? <laughs> no! No! I still have so much to accomplish! So much to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. Some shillings. Oh, that's okay. We're just gonna sleep in their bed. It's awesome. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. Coward's way out. Don't do it. Rational thinking only. I'm not doing it. 
I'm not gonna pull the trigger. I mean, does he not realize that he got shot in the shoulder just a second ago and like nothing's wrong? Do I have to pull the trigger? I don't want to pull the trigger. I kind of want to save the bullet. I guess we have to. Game over. Hey, Carter, do it! Do it! <laughs> I guess you had to do progress. I don't know. That last bullet, too. I could have used that. You lost a lot of blood. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. As it is, as mad as the moon, contains blood in sunlight into a glowing flesh. Whoa, evolution. Hideout beds allow you to evolve and rest, spending experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. Help. Begin by selecting a level skill. Out of that. I don't know how to say that. Is this one it? Oh, healing. Okay. I see the experience up at the top right now. Okay. Aggressive skill. We got claws. We got blood spear. Oh, that's pretty cool. You throw a spear made of blood. Oh, huh. Uh, shadow mist. Place a cloud of shadows at the large, at the target's feet or yours. The cloud will explode after a short time, causing heavy damage. Oh. Hmm. I don't know which one should we get. Should we get the uh, claws, the blood spear, or the shadow mist? I don't really know. I mean, it, the first two seem really, really good. I don't know about throwing some mist at people. That just seems kind of... That one's pretty cool. I like that one. The shadow veil. Hmm. All right, well, I'm just, I, I'm actually, uh, you know, I'm, uh, they each cost the same. I can use that for every, okay, let's go ahead and use the, the I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to throw blood at people. Okay. Now select confirm. It's one of these games where you got to hold the button. Oh my god, why did we switch the hold? Don't understands, Jim. That voice in my head. Yeah. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Yeah. Chapter one. Okay, we gotta go. Reach the north bank. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I need to leave now. Your body's gone, bro. You better watch out, man. Oh, Here's shit. the leech. Hey, uh... Oh, fuck you! Oh, wow. <clears throat> uh, my head's spinning. Oh, God. Constant on the run now. Boy! Come on, you I cannot on. enter. Wow, they 
Oh man, they're really coming in here. Offhand weapons can be used by pressing the right. Okay. You have. They have attacks with special effects, consuming stamina. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Nothing? Okay. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Go back home. Stun. Press blank to use your strike and inflict stun damage. A stunned enemy can be bitten. Die, vermin! Oh, fuck, what the hell? I didn't see him. <laughs> Press F to bite a stun. <laughs> Strength I never knew I had. So this dude did not hear any shooting whatsoever. of my body. Oh shit. What is the big guy? Oh shit. So now we can start getting loot and everything. Yeah! That's pretty cool. King and country needs you. Join the British ranks and help the brave lads in front. So I'm guessing it is during World War One or two. World War One, it looks like. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. Just so I can grab the rat? Oh no, it's this guy. Oh wait, 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 what was that? Oh yeah, it says you could grab the rats! Let's check, let's check this out. Wow, holy shit. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's locked. I actually almost just like ran the off. Dizziness the from the jump. I can now control it. I cannot enter. I feel like something's gonna happen in that alleyway. Money! District sta- okay, district status is stable. Say to me. Huh. 
It's locked, all right. I have so many questions unanswered. I mean, you did get jumped, you know. Dude, bitch, yeah. The Limehouse dot district stand stable. Another corpse. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? Everybody's just dying, man. Is it a sailor? Or a shipman or something? The man has been drained of all blood. But I can still smell the scent of it. You need to, like, wash yourself off and get some new clothing. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Oh, man. Toggle the... Fresh blood. And the smell is so strong. Where has everyone gone? Okay. I just saw that there According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. Oh, a new hideout is available. I'm guessing that, yeah, this is the hideout. Okay. Red door. Okay. Oh. Is there anything back here? I'm nice. This is pretty cool. It's actually like really open world and everything, so. Aluminum powder, aluminum charm. Oh, sorry, is it aluminium since we're in England? Is that how they say it here? We're just gonna continue following the killer's trail. It's like, does nobody see the fucking... Whoever he may be, the killer recently entered this bar. Maybe some of the locals saw him. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Talk to people. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. Definitely need a drink. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Yeah. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Nope. Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone, blamed a sewer dog, eh? <laughs> yeah, Vampire the Masquerade. I never actually, like, played the, uh, the PC game or anything like that, but always heard about it. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bomb. <laughs> See. This is important, sir. Are you oh, sure no one, one has come in here in around. the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. <laughs> People still have I the right you. to come and go, <laughs> don't they? All right, let's do I'll leave choice. you to your bottle, then. Normally the bartender. Normally the bartender has all the answers. Oh, God, sir. You look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... Not thirsty. Well, oh, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. Hmm. I need to meet this man. I have... 
Questions? Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. Hmm. And, sir, uh, yes? no funny business, you hear me? Definitely this is a respectable business. establishment. Something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. No. I mean, should we leave, talk to the chick? Are they stu- Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom, then. It What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. What have you heard about the epidemic? There's a Spanish flu. Uh, yeah, Spanish flu. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd now seen this the game actually seems very inappropriate Dozens to play dying since we every week. The Are the authorities doing now? anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. The murders? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. The sewer dog? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. Hmm. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now the he's killed. The murder. Oh, for some no one reason knows. my mouse is like really sensitive or something. So. Right, gonna, I'll leave then. It just, it seems like it always wants to double click. It's a brand new mouse though. But it's like when I click it down, it clicks. And then when it comes up, it clicks again sometimes. So, or it's just real sensitive. Alright, so it's the this first There's no one. place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Do you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. <coughs> Who are you? I mean you no harm, saith the vampire. Present yourself! I... I need a word. With... Anyone. That's something I can do for you. Well, where's the other chick? Did she jump out the window? Or where's the woman? Did she jump out the window or is she a vampire too? sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Sir, you have yeah. entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. It's crack. I'm on so crack right now, okay? Don't worry about it. Me. It's definitely not a vampire. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire? Like you. Uh -oh. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here, too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. Hmm. I'm performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Yeah, investigate. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Yeah. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I've no idea what you're talking about. Sure. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. Hmm. 
And what exactly is this brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Uh oh. Man. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Hmm. Perhaps. This is all new to me. Hmm. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. Maybe because I'm a what vampire, man. If you find I the killer? things you don't. I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. That was pretty useless. Well, I'm gonna rob you. Yeah. Ah! I took your money. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Like Someone must know I something. I can obviously see the bloodstains on the ground. Does nobody else see these? Interrogate the locals. Uh, okay, let's go check again. There's gotta be something can be done to get out of this. Evening, bullshit. sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. What happened tonight? I he was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes, his face. Hmm. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Hmm. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin, his hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he Maybe touched. Maybe like him. Maybe he's God, I hope he's not turned. contagious. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well, hmm. we all started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. All right, you just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen or someone related to them. Okay. Social. Oh wow. Yeah. So basically, this is like Vampire you know, Masquerade. Point. It's all investigative and everything. As a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. The blood quality bar indicates the XP you will earn if you feed on this citizen. Unlocked hints increase the amount of XP. So she has 1500. Tom and William Bishop used to be good friends. Jesus Christ. What is, what is this? Oh, Tom Watts and Sabrina. Okay. Oh, Jesus, man. There's so much stuff. Okay. What is this? Oh, okay, so that's how I heal myself with the one button. Okay. 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 Oh, I got a gun. Yeah, level one. Okay, so. Alright, track the killer interrogate. Okay, so let's go talk to the barkeep. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. 
Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Vex killing me. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. How was he tonight? Was he different? Oh, sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Pretty sure he won't be coming back tonight, okay? Hello, sir. I'll leave you to. He's got nothing. I'm gonna track the killer. It's fine. Are they stupid or something? I've never even been to. There's India. gotta be something can be done to get out of this bullshit. So let's map. Oh, he's just right around the corner. I thought he was going to be further up. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me? To this city? Oh, boy. It looks like somebody the killed body this guy. is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Hmm. What's this? Some sort of note. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Blood and empty gin bottles. Yeah, like to drink. This bishop fellow yeah. was something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Oh, okay, so on the barge over there. So this guy killed a dude. Nothing here to hit. Looks like he killed homeboy and walked this way. Go back this way and around. Um, yeah, okay. I was about to say I should be able to do this. Jesus. There's a cop over here, isn't there? Oh. oh, it's a fucking patrol dude. Sneak up on people. How do I sneak up on people? Hold on. Where's uh That's the controller, I don't have a controller, okay. Uh sprint. Oh that's shift, okay. Oh, B is the toggle walk, okay. That would have been nice to tell me, game. All the more 
reason to shut it, Mr. Billy. If the man says a blood... Wait a second, let me see if there's a crouch or something. Okay. Space is to dodge. Walk is to be... Q is to mesmerize, okay. Hmm. Okay, I guess there's no... You've got one job, and that's to find it. And find it fast. It's fair enough, Tom. But why do they hide where it's so damn cold? Okay. Abilities are level four. Some enemies are more resistant to certain types of damage. There are four types of damage. There's melee, ranged, blood, and shadow. Orange indicates a medium resistance, red indicates a high resistance, okay. So they're very resistant to range. I guess really weak to blood and shadow. Why won't it show me the other guy? He's not turned around. Fuck. I don't want to go out there and like have to fight two guys. Damn. Hmm. What should I do? I don't know what to do. Do I just go out there and balls of the wallet and fucking kill him or... Oh, looks like he's moving now. Okay, so they do. Okay, so they do have patrols. Yellow. <laughs> he's right here. Okay, that dude's, oh, that dude's level three. Okay, he's just resistant to the gunfire. Okay. Looks like he's looking to the right that way. Okay. All right, so let's let's see what this dude over here does. Getting all excited. I might be able to stealth kill somebody. Oh, Jesus Christ. Of course they freaking call. There's like some sadistic guy out there talking about burning people. There's T there for a second, but I don't know. I'm probably just about to run out here and kill this guy. Try to at least. I'll probably die. Hmm. Come on. Yeah, fuck it. I wanted to stealth kill him, but. Burn it, boys! Equip and press the blank to use your ranged weapon and inflict both standard and stun damage. Be aware that your ammo is limited. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm healing now because I bit the guy. 
but I'm guessing the your health has like a burn off kind of thing. Like like I can see the little line. I'm guessing like so my health won't actually go fully back right now. Don't you use, yeah, you use like some of your blood though to do that? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I said stay away, sir! We won't see any of these bastards back here again. Wish there was a crouch. That'd be nice. Oh shit. That's this nest of them cleaned out. See if I can get up behind this guy. Probably not. Shotgun, double barrel. Like Alright, so we're gonna go back around and we'll go down. And we'll try to sneak up behind one of those dudes and kill him. We won't see any of these bastards back here again. Oh, there's a safe house right there. What's that guy doing? Stay close. That's this thing to just clean down. Hide out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dead people all over the place. That was a workbench. Craft medicine. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Medical treatments to heal sick citizens, serums to boost your stealth, and weapon upgrades. You have enough components to improve one of my weapons. Um I don't know, what should I improve? Pistol or the the little double barrel? 
reliable service pistol used by the British troops. Sawn off shotgun mostly used at short range defense weapon. I guess we'll, we'll upgrade the pistol. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Carter. Alright, so, okay. Um, what is this? We've got improved firepower, increased damage dealt by 10%, or decrease the reloading time by 25%. So, 10% damage increase, which will put it up at 50 damage, or increase the... I'm going to go with the reload. Oh, I don't ha actually have the components. I need three common trigger parts and two springs. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Oh, well. Okay, so this one I need five screws and five grease to get uh, improved velocity. Okay. All right. And it just said I, I didn't have anything for potions or anything. Treatments. What is this? It's recyclable. Oh, so whatever I... G oh, okay, that's how I would have the stuff to upgrade it. I would have to disassemble the watch. Hmm. I don't know. I d should I... Should I recycle the watch? To upgrade the pistol? Yeah, because that would give me exactly... Three and three and... How about the... I'll wait a minute. points. Okay. You can even upgrade the stakes. Wow. Increase the stun, enhance handling. Huh. Okay. Okay. So it's a little, a little system. Okay. All right. So I guess we gotta sleep now to upgrade ourselves. Uh, let's see here. Calculation. Oh, I have to be level 4 in order to do that. Hmm. Okay, so, oh. Okay, so I unlocked the hard hats. Now I can. Oh, I got 300. following night. Oh, shit. Oh, Saw me turn around. Huh, oh. We'll get it. We'll get it. Alright, so we killed all the guys here. Got more bullets. Got some aluminum powder. Nothing there. Okay. New 
practices to do tactics. All right, I know that some of our... What is this? Pretty sure most people wouldn't continue to fight after that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they were doing it like a champ, man. He was like, oh, crap. All right, ended up some... Some of our companions consider that the best advantage we have in our fight against the leeches is that they can't go out during the day. Thus, we can hunt them down when they hide, powerless, in their sleep. This is a rookie mistake. First, because vampires are clever and they have countless ruses and tricks to avoid being spotted in their den. Second, because they deploy many deadly traps to kill any invaders in what they consider their most precious sanctuary. It would cost us too much men and too much time to explore and eradicate vampires in their hideouts. The best tactic is to follow and destroy them when they really are vulnerable. When they hunt at night, it is much easier to attack them than for they can easily be spotted. That's why the guard of Prewin must evolve and deploy new tactics to hunt leeches, small and mobile patrols, tactics based on technolo technological advances, modern communications. We can learn many things from the war in France, new strategy, new equipment, new weaponry, grenades, white phosphorus, ultraviolet light, bulletproof vests, and flamethrowers. Ooh, it is time for the guard to embrace the 20th century. It's locked. Oh, there's a guy over there. But I want to get to the guy. Oh, man. Oh, shit, there was a guy there. He didn't even go into the fight. Yeah, the 42nd millennia. <laughs> Is there like a way to get more blood from them? Like, I guess, I, I don't know, maybe, you know, I have to fucking just evolve more in order to. Oh, okay, there's more blood right there. I cannot enter. Of course, all the gates are broken. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Ass fucking scythe. Equip it to a weapon and press the blink to use its special ability. The scythe, for instance, can be used to parry an incoming attack, inflict heavy stun damage if timed correctly. Alright, so I guess that's our inventory. How do I equip it? Okay, okay, well. More. Oh dear God, not again. William, please stop. This place reeks of bloodshed. William, my arm. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Oh, that's a lot of stuff that gets used. Hold it down. Please. Stop. 
Okay, note to self, don't... That, that weapon takes up a lot of stamina. Some of the boxes are... Switch that weapon real quick because that kind of sucked. Oh. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir. Listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must oh, return shit. to my flock. They'll stray without me. Oh, boy. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You must be a vampire, too. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Huh. Oh, yeah, she's a vampire. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. <laughs> she just happens to come in with a steamboat. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just oh, give me a have. moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the tourists. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs me. Yes. Go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Said we have to do something real quick. Gather a blood sample on William Bishop's corpse. This poor creature can't be my maker. Okay. Fresh sample of William Bishop's blood in a small tube. Okay. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? Maybe it I is. I must find a place to analyze the blood. Does the sound okay? Like, can y'all can y'all hear the fan at all in the stream? If you can, let me know, please. I just turned it on, Saber. If you can hear the fan, let me know. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Privacy. Well, London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. 
Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, so see, bro, like you yourself, Dr. Oh, Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul oh, yeah. has um, dedicated its purpose ahead, to their study. Uh, I think you went off last There's night. I so ahead much for you to learn. So I'm Tuesday I'll be, uh, right. I'll be streaming that. Not going. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my okay, staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother, but alas, that was before well, contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. Sweet, they actually get out these blood rags. So, what do you say? Well, hell yeah, brother. It seems Let's I have it. little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I would hope so. Goodness, I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Uh -oh. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm pretty sure she don't give a shit right now. She's trying to get this guy to a <sighs> hospital bed. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. You're coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. So obviously it would mean probably not kill any of the staff. It's locked. Take me to a hospital. All right, let's see. I have accepted Dr. Swansea's help. I will work at the Pembroke Hospital. I have no choice. The man knows about my condition, about what I've become. A vampire I can't believe this. I don't know anything about this secluded medical facility. Everybody here will take me for what I'm not anymore. Jonathan E. Reed, the famous surgeon. I must lie to them all. To the patients, to the staff, 
This is my new home, where I will hide from all who are after me. Where I will hide from everyone until I get a better understanding of what is going on. Oh, what? what? Conduct research on my new condition. Oh, okay, okay. It's just the scenes. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Mr. Hampton needs me right now. Alright, no problem. That means I must go this way. Come on, you bastard! You can do better than that! Nah! It's my turn! Oh. oh. Rotten or grassy, each heart contains the secret of life. Drink at this river. Dry it all. You got stabbed, bro. Come on, you bastard! I won't bite! Sir, please! You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Insulting a good Samaritan? Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. We got to spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound Definitely you've got there. On. Take my word, I was I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. The blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you'll get. Okay, so he has 500. <laughs> to drink the blood of your prey, you must first mesmerize... Or, you, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Okay, uh, how do I find out his resistance? Dance with him the dance of life and death. Press the left click to embrace Clay Cox and press space bar to release him. Got our first kill, guys. In the yeah. back, you bastard! Didn't have the guts to fart me. Oh. Fuck you! Oh, we got a hatchet. Kill you! I'll kill you! Some springs. Well, I mean, for, for normal people, probably, but, I mean, he's a vampire, so, I mean, would he not, you know, he wouldn't actually be, like, you know, affected by the plague, would he? Because, I mean, you know. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? 
Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Yeah, true. I would like to ask a few questions. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in, how does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. The poor thing was in quite a state of shock. Thank you, Nurse Crane. So, I mean, yeah, it did tell me at the beginning of the game, like, there's consequences or, you know, the whole cause and effect of, uh, you know, killing people and stuff or biting them and drinking their blood and everything. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. I know that she said it was on the second floor. What can I do for you, Doctor? Thank you, Nurse Crane. Oh, that's the nurse. Wow, she got over here fucking quick. Like, she was just through the door and I passed her and she already got here before me. Maybe she's the real vampire. Alright, so obviously second floor. Uh, down the hall, my name... Apparently my name's already on the fucking door. Ooh. Oh, hacksaw. Yeah. Thomas Elderman, uh, followed by Dr. Tippett's uh, status con yeah, convolutions, I guess. Take the mission, 16th. Police to determine that the patient's face has been heavily burned and disfigured by a bomb during the war. Even with the use of strong sedatives, he affirms to regular regularly endure severe pain from the wounds as if the flames are still burning under the skin. He says examinations of the... Okay, this is obviously the wrong game for me because it's going to start using medical words that I just don't know how to pronounce because I'm an idiot. Phantom pain manifestations. Phantom pain. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. That's what, I mean, he's taken this whole thing pretty well. You know, all the whole coffin jokes and stuff. I mean, he's, he's doing a pretty good job. Light regeneration serums. I need glass vials, a watery, sturdy blood sample, some various tartrate, sodium. Yeah, I got. Wrong game for me. Should I recycle this watch? It's not the chemistry, it's just the names, man. It's the names, alright? Sodium hy hypochlorite solution, I'm guessing. Is that how you say that word? I know you're laughing at me, but seriously. <laughs> you know, the furious tartrate. Tartrate. Tart tartrate? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm an idiot, okay? That it requires a lot of stamina. 
resistance. Increased sun, increased blood absorption. Do we want to increase the stun, or do we want to increase the blood absorption? That's the question. That is the question, Jim. Tar trait. Okay. I was just confused with the E at the end, okay? I'm sorry. I, I, I thought it was, you know, tar trait -y. Sorry. <laughs> you know how I am. I'm an idiot. Let's see. So we got increased blood absorption and increased stun. Adds three points stun. Uh, adds three stun points when the weapon hits. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with stun with the uh, blood absorption. All right, so we upgraded our uh, axe, which we just uh, we got. William Bishop's blood is much more okay. unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. This but is... this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. Ooh, treatment for sepsis. Use it to cure a, to, to cure a sick citizen during that dialogue. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time. All right, Jesus, old man, I'll put you in bed. You will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Wow. You create an invisible barrier absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. It only absorbs one hit. Yeah, we got this, and we got... We increased our endurance. Well, so many options, man. I hate these games because I don't... You know, I don't really... What do you think I should go with their saber? Big thirst. We get 20% more blood. Increase your blood absorption when using the bite. I actually kind of like that. Let's get level 1 of that because it's only 300 points. one more right now. Get more blood. Alright. So now we can actually get the... I want to use the Shadow Veil to do some stealth and stuff. I mean, you don't really use your blood as it is, is until you start getting fucked. Okay. That, that is true. And plus our axe, you know, it's only going to give us 2.5, but I mean, you know, you hit a guy like five times. All right. Oh, it's healthy. Sweet. Every night, the consequences of your actions may improve or degrade the district. Health status. Wow. It can also be degra degraded due to disease spreading among the citizens. So right now, it's it was stable. Now it's healthy, apparently. Um, obviously, we, we killed Mr. Uh, Kin there. Major district events, the more lives you take, the unhealthier a district becomes. If a district's health status drops below the critical threshold, it will plunge into chaos. It is for you to decide if a district of a district's fate. Wow. By a thirty year old male, low life with no considerations for him. I mean, was it really bad we killed this guy? I mean he um you know he he was a low life, you know, no consideration for other people. So I think we actually did London a service by uh, killing this guy. Okay. Man, look at that. Doctor Edgar has six thousand experience, dude. That is. Oh yeah, 
this is Thomas Elwood, unknown health status. How I killed him. Oh, oh, I didn't know. It just said embrace him. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. So yeah. I mean, he was a low life, man. Come on. My thirst for blood. I think probably what we did was help the wife and the kid because now she could probably go find another man that'll treat her better. Night shift. I have analyzed William Bishop's blood, but the result is only partial. Oh, does it? I, I didn't read that part. I'm sorry. It just said release him or embrace him, so I just chose embrace. I have analyzed William Bishop's blood, but the result is only partial. <laughs> now I fucked up. <laughs> the blood sample was much more unstable than human blood and showed heavy mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. I need to gather more evidence of what is going on. Time may be on my side, but not on London's. The epidemic is killing thousands of people. The whole city is on the verge of collapse. I am starting to believe all of this must be connected somehow. Chapter 2. I'm the doctor, okay? You don't. I'm gonna shit one of these vials, man. What do you want, woman? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. Hmm. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but. What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Oh, wow. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Okay. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way, then. Thank you, nurse. Let me just mesmerize her right now and just take her to my room and... I'm just kidding. She's one of the staff. It's locked. Oh, it's locked. Dr. Tippett, Dr. Strickland, and Dr. McElroyd. All right, so gotta go to the old morgue. Yeah. Oh, small bottles. Some stuff around here. Okay. Oops. Wrong. Oh, wrong button. No. Nope, nope. Ah! Right. Can I not zoom in? Uh, oh, it's E. All right, sorry. It'd be cool if I could go into people's houses. Poor 
quarantine. Contagious disease. One shall enter or leave me. Without written, blah, blah, blah. Local health authority, blah, blah, blah. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Hmm. Your health regenerates slowly over time. The old moor. Weapons equipped. That'll be the next thing I open or unlock is gonna be the the uh oh, it's upstairs. Here he is. I was be coming for you. Oh, he actually she's it. Man, that's Find useful medications for ingredients. Find some various tartrite and some, that keyword. Yeah. this map because you can't freaking zoom out and move it and everything. Hey man, it ain't funny. You're an asshole. Oh shit. Behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. The sickness moves faster than influenza. Wasn't funny, you saber. You're a dick. <laughs> With the swing, and I actually kind of jumped a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I was. It requires. Require stamina, dude. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, I keep leaning forward because it's my back's like, all right. like killing me. I'm trying to get it in a neutral spot. Hey, you got me right as I went to stun him too. So like, I just I was thrown off a bit. And I was like, ah. Surely grant me oh, access to the basement. Definitely don't want to go in the basement. Alright, let's do some running real quick. Oh shit! Look, I start running, and that's when they came after me. And they were like, oh shit, there he is. Did 
Really? Thought you never played this game, huh? Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Oh, I didn't even pay attention, dude. I just look at their health and just start swinging. These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. And uh, oh, should have missed. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. Blood magic works on them. Completely hit the back button whenever I use the first uh, the first time. Attention when he puts his hands up to, to that, that's his block. <laughs> oh, there's something good down there. Oh, I got some furious hit right. <laughs> yeah. Just acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Equip it and press click to directly absorb blood. Okay. A new citizen investigation is available. Press the tab. Uh, citizen investigation is played here. Categorized by dis districts. You can start a new citizen quest by tracking it with that and then accessing it on the map or to your map. To locate the area to explore. Okay, the harder they fall, find the cause of death. Okay. Samuel Connor. Hey, Connor's in the game. All right, he's already dead. I'm just kidding. He's a fisherman. Died of natural causes. Fast progression of pneumonia by virus-induced pulmonary uh, consolidation. Spanish influenza. Tendies, doctor, so -and -so. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. His, his name was something Connor. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Hmm. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Hmm. 
A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. Oh, and then he tried to operate on him again. Okay. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know what that means? Tippett's gotta die. Time that fucking dodge down. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, so now I have to go back through that. Oh, no, wrong button. There we go. Ooh. I 
inside the bookshelf. I have gone through the bookshelf. Tippet has made an egregious. Okay, yeah, so it did save that. It's locked, all right. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of all the ambient sounds in the game. So, all right, Saber, you got a you got a plan on beating this guy? Cuz uh, obviously I suck. You think maybe using guns on him might work or Yeah, don't get hit. Yeah, that's easy for you, Tate. Two of six. I, whoa, I've only got two shots with this thing? Fuck. Running. Girls can Thank be you. so ferocious. Jesus. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. You have enough components to craft a medicine treatment for fatigue. Okay, there we go. Water rich blood sample. A small dose of water rich blood that can be used to create blood serums for vampires. Treatment for fatigue. What is this one? Treatment for cold. Use it to cure a sick citizen during a dialogue. Oh, I don't have enough of that. I have enough for this. Don't have enough for that. What is this? Go out 
this way, or? Well, I guess I gotta go back, which means I'll probably get a turk. I mean, the blood spear is good, but it uses up a lot of uh, blood. Uh, oh shit, didn't do nothing to him that time. Spear stronger. Yeah, that's true. It absorbs three blood. I just like stunning them though. I think I'm actually gonna upgrade that uh the stake. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. Oh, you don't look too bad, man. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. Okay, no offense. Sorry. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. <laughs> I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars, if you get my drift. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. 
My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned right. it's easier <laughs> not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Reconstructive surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I don't want to wear a bloody mask for the rest of my life. I'd rather stay here and just be forgotten. Oh man. Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Oh, that sucks. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Damn. The pain. It's there again. Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, sir, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion make me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. <laughs> A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest. I'm so I think maybe I probably fucked up everything with that guy. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place, and he refused to let me go. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here, this Miss Hawcroft. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers Trade Union. Hmm. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his <laughs> wife Edwina who runs the show, <laughs> with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. <laughs> Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I've had this nickname for so long. You know, the sad saint now of the I East End. Mean, Carter, when you said no one dares to bug a saint. Not even criminals. <laughs> Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. 
else and everything that I don't know if I want to do. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well-versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. Hmm. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, mm -hmm. I thought she was dead. Ah. She left the docks many months ago. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless oh, of the wow. docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Okay. I don't really want to use this option. Why not use the cross against William? Because he's not a priest, so... Guess what? I got a fever! And the only prescription is more cowbell! Definitely gotta get some more I cowbell. can't help but notice Thanks for the following, cross Carter. Much appreciated, I manage brother. a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Yeah. <laughs> like that was loud. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. Yeah, all my alerts we'll are talk pretty again loud, later. man. Like all the bits and everything. I made sure to turn them all the way up so when I'm playing a game, it possibly scare the shit out of me. The daily routine. So let's see, we got an unknown nurse. No! No! Yeah! Good evening, Doctor. <laughs> I don't think we've been introduced yet. Oh, yeah. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered yeah, me. Yeah, so there you position. go, Carter. You can tell that well, I got a whole bunch of euphemism that loud alerts, man. Especially when I was playing Doctor. Resident Evil, these guys spam the crap out of me. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's so... Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? Hmm. I don't want to say get a grip because it seems kind of... How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. You're right. When dealing with such a terrible disease, one must remain humble. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try our best. Yeah, try our best. Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Oh. Why does Milton dislike doctors? Well, I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Okay. Right. Please, doctor. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Lady Lee will not further your agenda, sir. How long is it going to take to fix me properly? Am Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. 
Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. <laughs> Diseases decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medication to heal them. Speak to the patient in his room behind Dorothy to check his medical status. Oh, great. Uh, well, you gotta move out the way, woman. Don't waste your time with me. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Yeah. Mortimer Goswick. <laughs> Alright, so press E to check the medical status of the citizen. Hell, healing a citizen will increase his blood quality and will reward you with XP. The health status of the district will also improve. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Okay, I guess I... Doctor. This hospital seems to be falling apart. But in the circumstances, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. Alright, so now I gotta go upstairs. I'm guessing I healed the guy, or... Remember, citizen blood will require you a massive XP boost. Yeah, I know, but. Please, Jonathan, come in. Damn, these big-ass offices. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. <laughs> the more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> The, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. Mm -hmm. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. <laughs> it may seem strange, but your words have brought me some comfort here. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and... Now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. All right, Edgar. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Yeah, I'm gonna have Very that. well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. Uh -oh. 
And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. First, we're gonna go rest. I'm gonna level up a little bit. It's locked. I'm guessing I get a key or a lock fix there. I asked the nice screen to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive, blah, blah, blah. All right. Oh, we do need to talk to that one doctor, Tippin. I cannot enter. Downstairs, real quick, and check these doctors. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller, Rockefeller University Rockefeller. in New York. Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now, an eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Oh yeah. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's not exactly the best situation in London either. I can't have expected this hospital to be prepared for what was to come. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve. But I must admit, he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Branigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. Yeah. You really seem to admire her skills. Oh, yeah. I'll go yeah. even further. Oh, okay. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Right. Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? I have no time for such triviality, my dear colleague. We're here to save lives. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. 
Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed the body. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. What's her face now? She's right outside. Standing last driver. Good evening, room? sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Yeah, Reed. Yeah. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking hmm. about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. <laughs> and if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? There are a lot of secrets around here. I'm not surprised someone tried to make money from them. What kind of secrets? I'm not in the gossip business, Dr. Reed. If you want to know more, you better talk to Harriet Jones. She's the oldest patient here. Oh, okay. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking <laughs> awful. <laughs> we lack everything, and it's getting worse every day. Oh, man. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. Jobs. Sounds like you had it rough, brother. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped oh through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. Hmm. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. Yeah, fair enough. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. We got some shotgun shells. We got four shotgun shells. But he's got a bunch of this stuff we kind of need. It costs a lot of money. Got oh, another trade with now. Alright, so let's continue on to the chick. I got some in my eye now. 
flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <laughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> Man, why you gotta lie to the guy? Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. <laughs> Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. Oh. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Hmm. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. Yes, These past great. insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Oh, okay. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing right, about so Harriet, it. This is the second time I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion. But I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Hmm. Basically extortion. It's like, yeah, I'll help you out and give you I'll give you answers. But you have to do this for me first. Alright, so we gotta find Miss Harriet. Delirious outside now. Oh, the pain. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, 
better than any patient, nurse, or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts is a poor <laughs> sod's vein. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. <laughs> scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, <laughs> Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Okay, that one's... Uh, it's probably just like, hey, you gotta go here, you gotta go there. Alright, so we'll start with the... Uh, one of the, the ladies in here. Apparently she's gotta be above me, then. You are going to what? It's Dr. Swansea's office. It says they're all downstairs. Find Peppa Hive. Unknown. That's Thomas. There's this chick next to him. There's a doctor. There's another doctor. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention <laughs> to her, opinion. Doctor. She's full of <laughs> fanciful Karma tales. Karma is the most waste of space. Wait, have you seen my fridge? Because, uh, you know... Uh, my wife, my, my daughter actually likes corn on the cob a lot, and my wife actually went out yesterday or the day before and uh, purchased a bunch of it. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? gets the long ones they're like they're like six inch you know they're like six inches like so long i think i've talked to this woman yeah goodbye nurse hawkins all right dorothy crane perhaps i should have considered the offer from that cabinet but uh yeah um, she buys them and, and like she gets them in like little stacks of like six or twelve and just has them in like a little I bag. Do? What must I do? It's not that hard. This isn't even my neighborhood. <laughs> oh. 
You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I hope to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Oh, this is on a mission area. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. I should have probably leveled up first because now all these dudes are like level 7 and 8 and shit and I'm only level 6. stuff. died. That's cool. Alright, that's good to know. Oh, 
the fuck? I have. Oh my god. That was freaking stupid. The bane of the dragon. Like, I don't understand. Like, I was right behind him. St. Paul's Stonewall. I would advise our viewers to be very wary about these so called scholars. Yes, indeed. Most of them are always affable and respectful. Oh, I got some regeneration serums. Let's see if I can go ahead and equip those serums. Yes, T, Tango. Wow, there's so many buttons. What sort of creature Why is this? Why can I lock onto him? Oh, wow. I did no damage to him. I'm dying so easily. Shotgun shells. Do I reload it in the fight, or... Oh, I have to actually go to the box, right? Oh, shit. Oh, that did a lot of damage to him. That's gonna get me right there. Get up, get up, get up. Oh no, what 
He was done. Here's what's left. Nurse Crane's letter. If you are sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, wherever you are from, come see Dorothy to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius. Okay. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. Alright, so obviously we need to go fucking level up. Because that was, uh. Actually, kind of a fucking hard fight. Where's that rat? Yeah, I'm doing some bad This is despicable. Yes, it is. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I've got a lot of experience or XP I can get. Yeah, <laughs> hey, what's up, V? I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention to the chat, man. Oh, 
doesn't. It's, it's fucking doing its own little thing now. Why is it switching? No, oh, stupid mouse. I don't understand why it's like switching characters. Oh my god, I hate the auto lock sometimes, man. Oh fucking hell! Just. Fuck, man. I don't like the. All right, Mr. Can't fucking Are you run. injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please. Yeah, I know. I've got to update it too. I haven't gone back to your name. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I, I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, hey, Mr. Thatcher. Shadow, you're dude. safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. some stuff. Because obviously it, it sucks whenever you're level you're level six and you're oh, Jesus Christ, are you even out here now? Where am I at now? Where did I get dropped out at? Oh, the hospital's over there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to upgrade uh, the amount of blood I can have, and uh, hopefully have some more stamina regeneration. Hopefully I can make that thing faster. What is this? Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Penbrook Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Yes. Swansea made sure of that. I yes. see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration <laughs> when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could yeah. not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think That's we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner v, like Dr. Tippett's? did you ever complete Tippets this game? In our situation? I know you streamed it when you first got it, but you only streamed it once and you didn't stream it anymore after that. Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? Come on, Doctor. I wasn't born yesterday. Uh -oh. 
I've decided that I won't reveal Dr. Tippett's, shall we say, misdemeanor. I'm so glad you share my point of view. Dr. Tippett's is a brilliant practitioner. We most definitely need his know-how. I hope you're right. Yeah. This is a huge risk we're taking. Dr. Tippett's must regain his confidence. Please, keep this decision between you and me. He doesn't need to know you found out. Hit failed. Uh, oh, she paid you bribe. Goodbye, me nurse. Call me if you need for that. assistance. Man, I'm so fucking this up. We are. All right, we're gonna go upgrade. We're at three thousand experience. So it seems a lot of these supplies. Wait, this is oh, looks like a lot of these supplies come back after a while. It's still up. Oh, there's a way to get into my room from the outside too. Wow. That shotgun was fucking up that level 9 guy, though. He was doing pretty good. Oh, dude, my eyes are all bloodshot red and everything now. Alright, so. That takes 1300. Holy crap. Hmm. Let's, let's check out some other things first. low ones first. Oh, 2,000, Jesus. Before I start going up more, that's 2,000. Oh, 600.
Oh well, Jesus Christ. So is it higher, if, if this percentage gets higher, like if it gets up to 100%, I'm guessing it moves down or it goes up? So I'm guessing that's what it means, and yeah. Oh, let's, uh, I, just, I know I know what that is now. Where is it at? Right here. Okay, so in this area, who's got what? Um, healthy, 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 healthy. Headaches. Treatment for headaches. Who is this? This is Aldwell Thatcher. Uh, treatment for headaches. He needs... Yeah, okay. Okay. And this guy... He's got fatigue, so I gotta make a thing for fatigue. Okay. This guy's healthy. Obviously, I haven't met all these guys. Okay, so let's. He's got a headache. I don't think I have anything for headaches. Rusty box of pills. Okay, so I want it to be higher. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so I, that's what I figure. I figured if it goes down, it'll, it'll become more unstable and stuff like that. And, Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. <laughs> You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. <laughs> Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Mm -hmm. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. 
Who are these enemies you mentioned? Hmm. Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? But I forgot I to upgrade weapons. Fuck. I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Mm. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? So she's healthy. I don't get my mesmerize up. I'll right? leave you, Mistress of the Dark. Oh, there's, there was no ability thing in there to upgrade activities. the mesmerize. Alright, we'll see. I'm gonna go back up here and, and uh, upgrade these weapons. This is a two-handed. Yeah. Oh wow, eight blood absorption per hit. Wow. was the axe. Clay's hatchet. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade this. Then we can do that. So we got eight blood absorption, but also we absorb 2.5 blood points when the weapon hits. So. so now I just gotta get better at dodging. Apparently I can just jump out this fucking balcony window. Right, let's check our people again. Who is what's her name? Okay, here. She is healthy. He suffers from cure with point treatment for headaches, but we don't I don't know what that is. There's 30% loss of blood quality because of fucking headaches. But I don't have any treatments to do that. Like. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Oh, a third opinion Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Okay. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. Hmm. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. 
difference is I disagree about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Gotcha. So it says he's healthy, but um, so we basically just have to find out. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed, <sighs> so I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter. And a good one, so basically too. in this game, you gotta talk but to that everybody, means I need I'm both guessing. Arms to find feed out my family, if Dr. they Lee. have any ailments or whatever, and then cure them, and... Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie well, to you There's an epidemic, it. guy. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so, too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. You always need the words to calm the children. Sorry, so we've got Mr. Fiddick now. Where is he at? Uh, right there, okay. Oof. I don't have any hints. To, oh, this game, man. This Absolutely. game. All right, let's just go to the next area. I'm guessing. Yeah, let's just dig in the trash, man. All right, so looks like we're going up the hill. Warnings, curfews, oh well. Whoa! Nope, we ain't going that way. Is that the way I have to go? That dude was, that dude was level eighteen. Do you see that? Holy shit! Maybe I'm not supposed to come down here just yet. Yeah, see, he's level 11. I don't think I'm actually supposed to be down here just yet in this area. So let's, let's try to go the other way. It's crazy these things are just out randomly throughout the night, you know? The other way we, the other way we can go is down this way, down here, and then move up north. Yeah, it's freaking level 11s and 18s. Holy crap! Honestly, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. So basically, we found this letter on the dude. Ask for Dorothy. Alright, so basically, we're looking for Dorothy Crane. So we're gonna run down here when we're across the bridge. Alright, so let's 
so let's go down here and cross the bridge. Yeah, who the fuck is that? Oh, that's what's his name? Oswald. Speak English, do oh, ya? Jesus. And these dudes are level 12. Holy shit. to do that. Switches Alright, so it does look kind of like the level doesn't really matter too much. It's just your ability, which my abilities at this game kind of suck. Alright, so it looks like we got to run up here. See, he's level eight. Okay.
blocked, so... Huh. Oh, there's a doorway up there. That must be a safe house. For a gentleman. Looks like we're gonna move in here and probably kill these three guys. Maybe. Yeah, so fuck it. It's one of them! <laughs> It's locked, all right. Guarantee I'm not even supposed to probably be over here. Yo, what is up, AK? What's going on, brother? Let's be in here. Get all of this. The collectible. The Vampire Club. Woohoo! Do you think vampires hide in the dodgy areas and hovels of London? No. Hide in the highest clubs and fancy house in the West End. I know for a fact it's a fact. We must reveal them, prove what they are, greedy enemies. Yeah. Oh, you're in the bed, huh? You lazy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> how's your weekend going, man? I know you don't stream on the weekends, but uh, you know, how's everything going with you and your girl and everything? Hopefully, y'all are getting out and. Uh, getting to see some stuff or you know at least go out to eat and everything i don't know how it is there in, in uh, england right now i know here in the states uh we can go out and everything as long as we have a mask and we can go to restaurants and stuff but um you know they can only have so many people in them how do i unlock that So yeah, I actually I actually got this game from a buddy of mine. Uh, I don't know if he's in chat no more, but uh, from my buddy V, um, he actually bought this game after it first came out. And uh, Humble Bundle just recently last week gave him a coupon or something for the free game. You know, it's like, hey, thanks for being a part of Humble Bundle. Here's a game. So uh, he went ahead and sent it to me and got it. They're good. Went for a walk afternoon and watched watch Blade. <laughs> Besides that, not. Nothing. Else. Which one did you watch? Did you watch uh, the first one, second one, third one, or just the first one?
pretty tired yesterday, but what'd you do, man? Actually, I think I want to change this to the stun. Oh yeah. Dude, you gotta play this game then, man. Play it on stream, dude. I honestly, I think I'm doing a horrible job right now at this game because, like, I, I don't really know where to go and I have to, like, talk to everybody. Oh. <laughs> First played one. It's locked. Locked door, okay. Yeah, so uh, there's a new TV show here in the States. Um, it's got the guy who played as the bad guy. He played as Deacon Frost in the first Blade movie. Um, he plays in the show Deputy, um, which is really cool. Um, and that, so like that that was really cool. Because like, after the Blade movie, he really never aired it or appeared in anything else. And then now, you know, here it is. He's... In that TV show, and that's where I knew him from. So it was pretty, it was pretty funny because I was trying to tell my wife, I was like, "Yeah, it's a good show. It's a new show. You know, he's like a sheriff and everything, and or he's a deputy, and then he gets promoted to being a sheriff." And she's like, "Oh, what's the actor's name?" And I'm like, "I don't know his name. I only know him from movies." Oh, I got you, dude. Holy crap! Oh yeah, he was in Immortals, wasn't he? He was the guy that helped uh, the main character, which was was Henry Cavill. Wasn't it? the main character was Henry Cavill, and uh, he he was like the, the the one guy in that town they found. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Timing is right. Doctor, give me all your stuff. Okay, so I'm, I can't get into that building for some reason. And there's people inside, but it won't let me get up top. Okay, okay, I guess we can't go this way. I guess we have to go the other way where all the, like, the level 11s and 12s are. Oh, dude. So I actually bought it last night. I bought Mortal Shell on Epic last night um, for $30. Well, $32. And uh, that's what I plan on doing Tuesday morning as soon as it releases or as soon as you can download it. I'm downloading it and I'm going to be streaming that too. So, um, yeah. I mean, you already know how I liked uh, when you streamed it last time. Um, yeah, when you streamed it last time, uh, when you did the beta. Oh, wait, you get it tomorrow? Or, or, or wait, are you doing uh, Subnautica tomorrow? Or? Oh, you're gonna buy it tomorrow. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was gonna buy it um, when they first had it for pre-purchase. Who's this guy? Uh, I was gonna buy it, but it said that they weren't gonna release it until December. And um, I am not responsible for everything bad that has happened. Um, so it said it was gonna sir. release it in December. I'm Dr. Jonathan uh, Reed for Epic, Hospital. and then like January, May February next year for Steam. Dr. Reed. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna wait. Don't so worry about it. And I checked yesterday, Oswald. and it was like, oh yeah, nice to meet you, sir. on the 18th and they're releasing you it. Newton Blight. Oswald and I recently returned from the war. What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death The stench everywhere. of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Ah, uh, your PC's not... I'll there. be honest, man, I don't really turn my PC off too much. I think I've only turned it off twice in the last week. Um, but back in the day when I first found out about computers, you know, everybody was like, oh, yeah, just leave them on. It's okay. They're like a diesel engine. You know, the longer you leave them on, the better they run and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was the same thing. I, I thought I thought I saw it said they were going to originally release in December on Epic. And then, like I said, you know. Um, I fought in France, too. I served as a field surgeon. But, uh, yeah, I saw it that was it was to Tuesday, so I had to quickly snatch it up. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, oh, yeah. I had to protect so the infirmary I watched, from hostiles. I think I came into your stream. Twice. You were at like five and a half hours, and then I stopped watching, and you still had like seven hours left. So I went to sleep, and I was I woke up the next day, and I was like, hopefully he finished the 24 hours. Hopefully he did it. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we're in the my same big, boat My big issue is because originally I started up streaming Stuck together ever as since. like a du duo team uh, with me and my buddy V. He's the one who got me into streaming. And me and him, uh, me and him really like, we started playing a lot of games together and streaming. That's how I got up to the 100 followers. Because uh, literally like every day or every other day we were streaming together. Um, and then his life picked up and he got a new job. And... Um, he, um, so that left me by myself and me personally like I can't really play too many games for long periods of time on stream because like I have to have somebody to talk to I have to somebody to like hear me on the headset and then speak back to me and stuff like that so I just, I just find it really hard why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back it's complicated since the war Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital yeah and me yeah, I know um, here in January, I, I don't think I told you, but I actually applied for the Border Patrol here Even in Texas. One. Uh, unfortunately, I did not pass the test. Uh, they have an entry exam it's you gotta take. That stopped me from and going after choice, Oswald when he and left. It's all, uh, and it's all logical choice questions, you know, and I'm not really good at those types of questions. And uh, so I, I didn't pass it, but in January, I'm gonna retake the test. And, you know, if I pass it, I'm gonna have to go for six months to their academy. And so I won't be able to play video games for six months. Yeah, yeah, you can retry. Um, they just have you have to wait until they redo another uh, recruitment application thing, or when they open it back up. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs uh, thanks, to reach bro. that decision yeah. by himself. Yeah, dude, really, you really want to get the job. I want it. I'm tired. Of, I'll be honest, man. I, I, I hate feeling useless. But perhaps because you've been through it every day. You're talking and, and even when I did Uber and Lyft, I, I still feel useless. Like I, I, I want to be. I want to have a job and be a part of a team and and everything. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year. Following yeah, I had a study attack. guide for it. Um, and it was like was a, a two half an hour video on the, on the questions and stuff, and you can go back through it and everything. And I watched and it like two or three times. Go on. It started eating me. As and soon I thought as I was going to be really good at it. And then when I went to take the test, no, I got my ears. The first five questions, I just the was fingers, like, "Oh my god, I lips. am dumb." Excuse <coughs> me. Couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies, fucking vermin eating your flesh. 
Yeah. Oswald. Oh yeah, I know I will. I just, found next time I just need to study harder. Oh no. Oh, his blood quality went up. Alright, I can't mesmerize him. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take so I'll probably have to go talk to the other guy. Oh, that's the only thing about this game I'm kind of not liking is, but you have to talk to everybody. Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Yes, this neighborhood may stink of dog. I know I just... Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? Lost his no, power. I lost really his don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Uh, well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. I mean, if I wasn't streaming, it'd probably be a really good game to play and everything like that, but I feel like at streaming, not a lot of people want to actually watch like all the talking and the story of the game and everything. As a soldier, you're expected to kill the enemy to survive. Guilt is a powerful emotion and could lead to feelings of suffocation and oppression. My god, you're so wrong. Believe me, I would kill if it happened again. Violence is part of who I am. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, no. I don't think I can... Mr. Thatcher. No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier, too. No. Nobody can truly... Un I don't wanna... I got you. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Like, I get what they were, were trying to do. Like, you raise the quality of everybody. And then you can just like, we were supposed you know, to kill them or whatever, and then take their blood and get their experience and stuff. But like they say in the game, like you know, everything has a consequence to it. I really want to go back here to the docks and uh, help that one guy out because he's he's got fatigue, and I've got you know the means to help him. Clay, I killed him. I uh, got one of these wrong. Alright. Okay. Let's try this again to get to what's her name or to stop the blackmail. Opium! Sweet! I got you, man. I don't know why it keeps making noise. Across the bridge. Okay. Oh man. How's the uh, how's the Subnautica going though? I know I watched quite a bit of it. Uh, you were building a bunch of stuff, and um, I think the last thing I saw, you were responding to some emergency beacon.
Okay. Oh, so there's, there there is like an in-game for Subnautica? Because I'll be honest with you, I got the game a long time ago on Epic, but I've never installed it or played it. Uh, mainly because it was just like like Osiris New Dawn and the forest and everything, so... Where's the guy that was standing out by the... That must be him. Then. Better turn around if I were you. Okay, you give me the warning. Hey! Don't come no closer! I'm walking away from you, guy. You'll leave me alone if you know what's good for you. I'm trying to help you out, alright? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know that's what uh what happened. Um yeah, last I checked on the game you were you were on the planet or something like that, and there were other survivors or something, but down the road right now. Hey, no problem, man. Oh, yeah, it is. I forgot. It is like 10, 10 and 11 top there. All right, brother. Hey, thanks for stopping in, AK. I know I haven't streamed in a long time, and I'm sorry, dude. But uh, thanks for stopping in, checking everything out. And, um, you know, hopefully have a good night. And uh, hopefully you have a wonderful week coming up. And uh, your stream's good tomorrow, man. Actually pretty the map isn't actually that big a little bit like it's not as big as I thought I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger so we're getting to a fight up here it's locked all right oh it's locked that's the way I gotta go Jesus, I'm trying to attack you. It's like these dudes. Fuck. 
fucking infinite strength or whatever. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. This auto lock sucks, man. Whoever designed it. I'm gonna die because it won't stay on him. Oh my god. I'm trying to attack him and then it goes to him, and I'm not even using the mouse to move. See, I, I'm not even hitting anything, it just automatically does it. And it's not supposed to do that at all. So yeah, like when you do, using the mouse and everything, when you lock onto him, you can't touch the mouse at all, or else it'll automatically just move to the next character. So, that kind of sucks. Whitechapel. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. Where's that? First. Oh, it's over there. Let's find this Petrescu fellow. Jesus, he just capped that guy. I won't end up another drunk arsehole in the streets. Not me. Are you alright? The bastard hit the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. <laughs> I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. Alright, Albert. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> what happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything, it ain't me. All right, I'm sorry. All right. Perhaps the poor drunk just confused you with someone else. Sod off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Okay, so that hint was for... Oh, dude, he's got a lot of hints. Holy crap. Goodbye, young man. Oh, I'm a drunk castle littering the streets. Not me. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? 
You saw what happened. Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. Mr. I'm Palmer. Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane like all from over the Pembroke Hospital? Holy crap. Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for it too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? Word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migraines. Oh, wow. What's wrong with you, brother? Oh, you suffer from migraines. I don't have that yet. Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses. Well, I do apologize, man. What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straight jacket, lock me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. It's a pity that doctors still practice such barbaric methods. It's a dishonor to our profession. Now only the pills stop me thinking about this shit. To not hear the explosions. I'm even scared of the dark these days. Oh, shit. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the head, you see, and the boy just, he just fake me last nerve. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. Okay, so we got this guy. He's got fatigue. We're at Whitechapel. Yeah, Whitechapel. Okay. So, oh, he suffers from. That's Albert Palmer. Okay, I can give him. I got a little medicine for fatigue. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right now. Jeez, he's such an asshole, man. Do you need assistance? Please. I'm feeling tired these days. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. Yeah, his blood went up. Okay, good. He's recovering. Goodbye, young man. I won't end up another drunk arsehole littering the streets. Not right, me. So it said to what? Come on, button input. Work. <laughs> it's telling it to go right, and it's still running forward. So obviously, there's a little bit of uh, issue with the uh, button controls for PC. Supposed to be a hideout over here. Oh, I actually went the wrong way. Yes. Its effectiveness has been proven by many. Even the flu is Dang. no match for the Swanborough Cordial. Ask me. All right, there's a flickering light, so I'm guessing I gotta get up there. It's locked, all right. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there's a bunch of blood on the ground, too. So. Its effectiveness has been proven by many. Even the flu is no match. What do you want? 
Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door <laughs> right now. Go bother <laughs> someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Oh, he has bronchitis. What the fuck? Well, if I can get in the safe house, I can make you some bronchitis or medicine. The strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be from Whitechapel. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Just, I told you my... Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Hmm. Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. Hmm. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. been proven by many. Even the flu is no match for the swanderer of This guy dead? Holy shit, he's dead. He's just laying here dead. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson, Sam. A colossus joke at most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. I ain't got time to fucking talk to everybody. Jesus Christ. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. <laughs> Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me then? Okay then. Come on in. I'm Hello, Harry, Harry. By the way. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Yep, yeah, definitely taking that shit. So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. She came here to examine me when I was very sick. She said I should go out more. <laughs> Forgive my bluntness, young... Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the... F oh, shit. I really don't want to. Oh man, fuck. 
Oh, he suffers from fatigue also. Jesus, everybody here suffers from fatigue. You have a roof over your head, a place to call home. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry? If life here is so... I, I don't go outside. So that's why you stay at home all day. I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Rick. It's the living, huh? Okay. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby. Oh, I'm Clayton. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Oh, he knows me. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm afraid one of the nurses from the Pembroke Hospital may be involved with unsavory activities. Ah, could it be Dorothy Crane? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, <laughs> Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious. Never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. <laughs> he has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. He suffers from fatigue. Everybody's suffering from fucking fatigue, man. What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. So you risk your life to... Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories. Have you any idea? I've had to run and hide more than once. Sir. I'm convinced there is more. Sir. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. Looks like he's gonna have a lot of them. Alright, so, so is he. Dearest, most beloved children, I'm so sorry you have not heard from me for a few months. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage. To enter. So now we gotta find what's his name behind the church. I cannot enter. Can't get through the church layer. 
Hopefully we don't have to go into the church, because wouldn't I technically burn to death? Because, you know, technically vampires aren't supposed to go into churches or holy places. This way, see if we can't get around the other side. You are blinded by your false faith. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few What's questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. He's a poet and didn't even know it. Nah, I'm just kidding. This dude's probably got fucking... Oh, he's got a cold. Oh, I can give him that. Do you need medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. Yes. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. Tell me, Mr. Nethercott. The place is not beautiful per se, but... In what way, exactly? The struggle by gaslight. 
the barren smiles and the arid hunger under the... If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox. Vivid, of course. Oh, yes? The poignant... I'll leave you alone. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. See, I could have just came in. Sweet. Alright, so let's. It's fucking safe house. Let's. things guys you know, I'm just unlock that way so we can just run straight through now we gotta unlock the safe house Locked, all right. There's like somebody in there or something. Oh shit! I don't know if I'm supposed to go in here. Oh shit! It's unlocked now, so that's good. Ugh. Shouldn't be serious here now. Oh, it is serious. Migraines, uh, or like, uh, I don't know how to say that word. What is this? This is for pneumonia, this is for bronchitis.
sepsis. Alright, actually, let me see you all who is hurt by Whitechapel, who is fatigued. He's still fatigued. He's recovering still. He has bronchitis. That's the pillar, Dorothy Crane. Maybe after these guys recover. I don't know. Need two for fatigue. Okay, two fatigues. Let's go help these guys out first. Welcome, sir. A I am Dr. Reed. Doctor? Interesting. I'm back. Oh, he's a traitor. He's okay. He's healthy. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Good evening, Harry. Sure. Sure. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. So, I'm not bothered. Do you need any medical? Yes, I do. You'll feel better with them. I'm not sure. Right. Goodbye, young man. I'm gonna leave. He's recovering now. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize. I am Dr. J. A scientist. I have had enough for tonight. Goodbye. Oh man, don't tell me I gotta run around and freaking find this dude now. There he is. Good evening, Doctor. Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you. If you persist... Thank you, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. Alright, so now let's go and... sleep. Hey, my girl. I think we should kill the preacher. I think I think what we should do is unlock everything of him, and then just like mesmerize him and uh, lead him somewhere and kill him. All right, not just get all that XP from him. We have to kill the clergy. 
energy. Just kidding. All right, so. Oh, it's 2,000. Palmer's got a fucking migraine now, Jesus Christ. Oh, Palmer, okay, sorry. It's, oh, it's Albert Palmer and Benjamin. I don't have medicine for the migraine, though. Oh. I've got it out of the series into stable now. I want to check out the merchant real quick, and then... Save and I'm gonna go ahead and probably hop off for the day, and we'll be back tomorrow, same time. I'm trying to start it out slow on the streaming, you know, just four hours here and there. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Come on, take a look. Don't be afraid. Fancy buying something. You never lose. Right then. Show me what you have. Bronchitis. I don't have migraine. Actually, I need to talk to all the people first. Pay me a bottle. Don't be shy. I'm not looking for what you're saying. All right, then. But... She has fatigue too. Yeah. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Good evening, miss. I'm d I know what you're thinking. A tall str You're fucking mute. Camilla, okay. Very well. Goodbye then. suffering from freaking fatigue. So apparently none of these people fucking go to sleep.
Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I... Ah, my brother has spoken of your reason. I'd like to see what... Nah, uh, she's... like dead people all around these guys and nobody gives a shit <laughs> it's like New York just kidding just kidding Take a look. Don't be afraid. I want to get everybody that's suffering from some kind of illness. So. These people aren't even here then. Probably. Its effectiveness has been proven by many. It's actually a pretty cool game.
Whistler sticks down. This dude has bronchitis. This chick's hurt by fatigue. And then, of course, migraines we can't do right now. Fatigue and one for Bergante. From Kai Dash. So we'll go ahead and give it to the chick. And then we'll run over and give the dude the bronchitis medicine. And then we'll we'll go back and save and hop it off. Good evening, Christine. Change your mind? Do you need any assistance? It depends. I am shocked. Forgive my suspicion. Goodbye, miss. Alright, so we got her taking There is something away. going on in this district. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again? Go away. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. Yeah, without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. At least give you the medication to get rid of your bronchitis. If you want to talk to Dorothy, we've not been formally. I am Dari. Do you need some help? I am very tough. Well, I think you. Free drugs from an English doctor. Goodbye, Mr. P. I'll be on the boat that will take Anton and me back to Brasov, England. Was well, not for us. I, I cannot wait to see you again in the proud hills of Trans Transylvania. <laughs> this is 
We're there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Razvan Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and Salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Aspirin and Salicin, you say? Why not some warm milk and a kiss on the cheek? Where are the quinine salts? Tried buying, borrowing, even stealing. There's none to be found, doctor. <coughs> He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. What can I do, Doctor? I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I have no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, Doctor. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the entire Battery velocity. low. Oh, no. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. Charging battery. I must... First, suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! A dose of epinephrine, now. Yes, Doctor. We've lost the pulse. He... he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions, something primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. Guessing there's a way to see here to test my bedside manners. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. 
Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. But why Lady Asprey? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? No. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So? Here is my proposition. It's not dead. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed! That sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then. No, just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. Wait, does nobody notice this I'll dude's eyes are like bloodshot as fuck? Fair and honest to help finance your noble endeavors. And like, he's got like veins protruding from his face and everything? Like, like does nobody notice this? We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. I don't think this dude's dead, man. He was just gurgling. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Oh. <laughs> that looks normal. <laughs> it's locked, all right. I don't understand why it's like they will suffer your thoughts. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, this one stinks already. These boys! I'm gonna fucking kill you now. Well, you only gonna come in here? Oh, that's the shotgunner. Fuck. Hmm. What are you doing, Sid? What's going on in Little Old Australia? Oh, did I learn how to make the one medicine yet? Probably not. Later, guys. Oh, we got 600 XP off that. 
then you have to kill everybody. Let's see how good we did in this area now. <laughs> Shitty advertising is taking over. What's going on, Nerf? How you doing today, bro? You got an operation going on with that, um, I guess, Epsilon Company or the 121st? Whatever unit you're in, you're in like 50 of them. I'm just messing with you. But how you doing today, man? How's your Sunday? <laughs> He's like, 50, I'm hurt. What you really meant to say was 60. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I still don't have it unlocked. When will I get these unlocked? Oh, you only play up trade? What? What happened? I just I just saw you like two weeks ago. You were doing like that little join op thing with uh, the 501st or the 212th or something like that. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna get Tobias Whitaker. Oh my god, the whiff is calling. I hear you, man. Now that's that's why we we still do an op tray. I just I, I couldn't do it no more, man. The, the drama, the bullish crap, every I just couldn't do it no more. All right, so we got mesmerized level two up. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and sleep. Let everybody recover. Let's see, I got 1600. That's still not enough to get my uh, blood spear up. I need 2k for that. I think I'm gonna, I want to get harder bite up. Yeah, I want to get harder bite. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, we're going to 400%. 400% the bite right there. All right. Ah, uh, okay, I got you, man. No problem. Uh oh, futile police raids in Whitechapel. As of late, the rumors are from a trouble thing. In fact, in the last three months, the police have suspected the district of hosting what might be the heart of London's black market. But of course, these suspicions will remain assumptions for no task force where additional police presence has been sent to Whitechapel. No large drug stockpiles have been found, nor no crime lords arrested. This masquerade has only been planned as a desperate attempt to conceal the blatant incompetence of the London City Council Board of Health by giving the populace a cheap and easy victory while the epidemic spreads more and more and more each day. Worst of all, when you take time to review the most recent statistics, you discover that the district of Whitechapel is coping with disease much better than other parts of the city. It is a miracle. Evidence of the activity of an illegal but efficient medical underground, uh, more proof of authorities, criminal and incompetence, and incompetence. All I know is this. If a Londoner, Londoner has a better chance to survive the epidemic by choosing to live in this godforsaken burrow, <laughs> I am ready to move to any cheap flea infested flat. Some shady landlord will agree to rent me right now. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. All right, so it only it went up four points so we're still in the stable still in the stable region we're not in a serious uh, your choices concerning the community pile or pillar have been reported by the press okay 
No, I got you, man. Yeah, that's uh, honestly, dude. We we've moved to primarily just doing operations on Saturday now, because we have a lot of people in the unit that like they work on Fridays, so they can't show up for FTXs. So what we're doing now is we're doing a deployment cycle, and then we go into the FTX cycle, uh, or FTX cycle, then deployment cycle. So like, you know, we do it on Saturdays at 6 p.m. Central, 7 Eastern, and uh, we do a, we do operations for about two hours like normal. Um, you know, so we'll do a deployment, and then once we're done with the deployment, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I've got the, the I, I've got it in the stream, but yeah, I've got the Spetsnaz op ready to go, man. Um, well, actually, I don't have it ready to go. Uh, I took out, uh, well, I added a mod, but uh, that's been about it. Um, just let me get off of here, and I'll set all that up. But yeah, man, no, so we, we'll, do, we'll do deployment, and then once we're done with the deployment, we'll move into an FTX cycle, where, like, you know, we'll do, like, an hour of training, that way, you know, the team members can train with their teams, and then we'll do a mini-op afterwards, and we'll do that for, like, two or three weeks, which will give us time to start up another deployment, and then we'll do the deployment, and then we'll go back to the FTX cycle. So, the uh, main reason for that is to, to get everybody in on Saturday to actually do some training or whatever, you know, that way people get some cohesion, uh, instead of like it is now, where... No! you for booping the snoot all right thank you <laughs> thank you for that hundred pities man <laughs> but uh well yeah brother uh that's what we're doing now but uh that's pretty much it for today uh, i'll be back on here tomorrow uh same time uh same game we stream the same thing but yeah our, uh, the units actually on sundays we do modern operations so we're actually doing like this like spooky spetsnaz campaign thing on malden right now so uh, I just got to get everything set up and ready to run that. So, But, uh, all right, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for coming in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know there's a lot of talking in this game, uh, but this is a blind playthrough. This is first time playing the game. Uh, there's still a lot of things I don't even understand about the game. So uh, hopefully uh, when we start this up tomorrow and we continue playing it, uh, I'll know a little bit more and be able to get through some stuff quicker and faster. And that way we can do more action and not as much dialogue talking with... Um, the characters but like um uh one of the guys i was watching earlier uh carter he did said this game's kind of like vampire the masquerade and if anybody's ever played the old vampire the masquerade it's mostly talking so uh it's very big role play you've got to pay attention to the story and stuff like that but um if not guys y'all take it easy y'all have a good day enjoy the rest of your sunday be safe and uh, hopefully you start your week out nice and strong later